Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, a couple of live streams ago, I gave away one of these Gas One Dual Fuel Indoor-Outdoor Stoves. And today, I'm going to go ahead and review this one. I liked it so much, just from reading the description of it, that I went ahead and ordered one. And I'm going to go ahead and review it. I'm going to show you how much gas it uses, although we can do some simple math. It will tell us about how long one pound of propane will last and we can do a measurement with the butane fuel to let us know about how long one eight ounce can of Coleman butane fuel lasts. As you can see obviously this dual fuel stove will use propane and will use butane. It comes with this adapter that you go ahead and hook up to the stove so that you can hook up to your propane bottle and of course it comes with a compartment where you can attach your butane bottle let me go ahead and take it out of this box it comes with this plastic box that will take care of it which I think is pretty nice to have that way once you put it away it's safe from anything falling on it let me go ahead and take it out of there set it up and show you all how it works alright ladies and gentlemen this is what it looks like when it's out of the box and we have our compartment open I thought I'd go over this for you because it comes with a warning in here and it says warning read first and pretty much is telling you that whenever this stove is not in use that you should have no propane or no butane connected to it whatsoever I think that is a very good rule to follow and ladies and gentlemen this is a question that I get all the time now do your own research but I'm always asked whenever I do a review of a stove like this that I would intend to use indoors. Is it safe to use indoors? Well, the fuels that we're using are propane and butane. And ask yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, those of you that have either natural gas ranges at home or propane ranges at home, they're using either natural gas inside of a home or they're using propane inside of a home. Are those safe? In my opinion, yes. Therefore, in my opinion, this is safe as well. This is using propane or butane, whichever one you decide to use. And I actually actively use butane in my home every single day when I heat up my water for my coffee. I have a jet boil system that I use to heat up the water for my coffee. I use it every single day. My wife uses it every single day. We use our propane range every single day, and it is perfectly fine. Now this right here, I would say is a very nice tool to have, ladies and gentlemen, for anyone that relies on the grid for cooking. So for example, let's say that you have a wood stove that you heat your home with. Well, if the grid goes down and or you lose the availability of whatever fuel you use to cook with, you can always cook on top of your wood stove. But if you're not lucky enough to have a wood stove, then something like this will get you through you know, a short grid down or even a long grid down when it comes to heating your water and cooking your foods, depending on how much fuel you have put away for it. So let me go ahead and show you the inside of this, show you how this works. We'll go ahead and connect the butane first to see how it works with the butane. We'll go ahead and turn it on for about a minute or so and see if we can measure how much butane came out of there. We'll go ahead and get my kitchen scale out put it in grams so we can get a pretty precise measurement and we'll let you know about how much butane is used on high for about one minute's time that way we can do a very short calculation a little AP math and you'll know or have an idea of about how long a bottle of butane will last you now ladies and gentlemen all you have to do is find this little notch on your butane bottle and go ahead and line it up with the top right there you see how it lined up with this little spring activated latch right here? Line it up with this. And now I really like this part of this stove. It has a latch right here. Well, not a latch, but a lever in the front. And as long as you have it lined up, lined up with this notch right here, all you have to do is press down on this notch and you'll see that it pulls in the butane bottle. You see that right there? That butane bottle is now secure. And to light it, it is very simple. All you have to do to light it is, as you can see right now, it is in the off position. All you have to do is bring it all the way down and it will click. And once you click it, it will ignite. 
And there you go, right there it is on high. And as you can see, you can bring it down very, very low. I really like the control on this because look at how low you can bring it down. Let's see how low we can bring it down until it turns off. Right there, well, right there, it looks at. That's how low we can bring it down in order to have a controlled flame. Let's go ahead and turn it off. It turns off that easily. Let's take off our butane container. Let's weigh it and let's see how many grams of butane it uses in one minute. Now in order to take it off, all you have to do is take your lever, push it up. It comes right off. Very easy. I really, really like this little setup. All right, well, here we have our kitchen scale. We're gonna go ahead and put it on grams. That way we can have a more precise reading. As you can see there, it's on grams and it is zeroed out. Now let's go ahead and put our can in there. And we have 354 grams, right? Now let's go ahead and put it back on the stove. Let's turn it on for one full minute. And then we're going to come back and reweigh it and see how many grams of butane it used in one minute. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't get on me for this. This is something that I should have done before I even turned it on. And that was close this compartment. Okay? It was close that compartment. One of the things after reading the instructions that they recommend is that whenever you put a pot or a pan on here to make sure that the pot or the pan does not go over the compartment. The reason for that is is because if your pot or pan is really hot and it's hot right over this compartment, it can heat up that canister. So make sure that you don't do like I just did and operate this with the compartment open. All right, so let's go ahead and take that bottle out. And I really like this because look, I'm obviously doing this one-handed, right? I'm holding my camera <laughs> with one hand and then uh, operating this with the other hand. Now, if we all remember, we were at 354 grams when we first started, we ran this for one minute, and now let's go ahead and put it back on there and see where we're at. We are at 349 grams. This used five grams of butane in one minute. Well, look at that. Okay, I thought it switched over to 48, but it used five grams of butane in one minute. So now all you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to figure out exactly how long this bottle will last, all you have to do is convert 8.8 .8 ounces to grams, which right there tells you, it tells you 250 grams. So 5 grams goes into 250 50 times. That means that this stove will run for 50 minutes on high off of one 8.8 .8 ounce bottle of butane. That, ladies and gentlemen, will allow you to know how much butane you want to stock up if butane is going to be your choice of fuel for this stove. Now let's do the same thing, but with propane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, I straightened out my hose here a little bit. We have to put it through this hole that is back here, right? I already did that. And all we need to do is, I'm gonna try to show you a good picture of this, but it's pretty tight in here. So I'm not sure if you'll see me screwing this into where it goes, all right? It's got a little port that you go ahead and screw it into. It's very easy to do. Let me go ahead and screw that in right now. And there you go. I just got it finger tight. There's a little O-ring in there that seals it. So you, finger tight is all you need, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go getting your vice grips out. And now let's go ahead and weigh our propane canister prior to attaching it. Let's go ahead and turn our scale on again. We're going to go ahead and leave it in grams. As you can see this propane canister, when it's full, it has 465 grams of propane in it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and weigh it now. We're going to call it 777 grams. Now let's go ahead and hook up this hose to the bottle.
And as you can see, it went on there fairly easy. Now all we have to do is go ahead and do the same thing we did before to turn it on. Put it all the way on a high and it's going to click when it gets to the bottom and it should turn on pretty easily. And there you go, as you saw, I had to click it twice because there still wasn't enough gas in the line. Let's turn it off and reweigh this. All right, we have 775 grams. We're gonna go ahead and reattach it now and run it for one minute and see how much it takes out. All right, and now we're gonna run it for a full minute. All right, it's been one minute. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Take the propane canister off. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what. I really like this little stove. I think it does a great job so far. And 15,000 BTU is pretty good. Pretty good. So let's go ahead and put it back on our scale. Let's go ahead and zero it out to make sure that it's good. And now it has 771. We started out with 775. That means that in one minute, ladies and gentlemen, it used four grams of propane. Now let's do a little AP math and see if we can figure out how much this one pound of propane will last us. So being that one pound of propane in this small container comes with 465 grams of propane, which is actually just a tiny bit over a pound because a pound is 454 grams. So this is 1.02 pounds, but that's what comes inside of it, 465 grams. So if we take 465 grams and we divide it by four grams, which is how much it used in one minute, that means that a one pound propane container is gonna give you about 116 minutes worth of burn time on high. Now that's almost two hours and it's, I would say, a little bit comparable to the butane but it's still a good deal for the propane because from what I understand these propane containers are a little bit less expensive than the butane so there you go ladies and gentlemen I think either option would do I really like that this is a dual fuel stove because it gives you the option so if you're stocked up on both and you run out of one you're able to use the other without having to switch to a different apparatus or a different kind of a stove to cook with. So in my opinion, this is a winner. I am very, very glad that I got this. This is gonna be put in deep storage along with all of the other propane and butane containers that I have. Now, if you all remember me reviewing a small butane stove that I reviewed a long time ago, I think it's probably maybe almost a year ago now. It was made in Japan, very, very high quality, I like this one better than that one. I'll go ahead and leave the video to that one on the upper right hand corner so you can check it out. But I like this one better than that one. This one seems to have a nicer burn. It seems to be pretty darn efficient. It has more BTU than the other one did. And you can use two different types of fuel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm always asked when I do these videos where I review something, where can I get it? I'm gonna leave it on my Amazon storefront if you'd like to go take a look at it. The last time I checked, they were out of these. They were sold out, but they had other models from the same company, which are the same type of stoves, dual fuel, just maybe less BTUs, but I don't know. They might have this one in stock again. Having said that, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining in today. I hope you got something out of this. Plan ahead now, ladies and gentlemen, in case you lose access to those things that you need on a regular basis. In this case, if you lost access to your main cooking fuel, this is something that you can have for a backup and then store enough of your fuels that you need to get you through whatever time span you wanna be prepared for. Having said that, have a great day. Thank you for joining in today. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. Merry Christmas, and I am out. Ladies and gentlemen, Nutrient Survival currently has this awesome little bundle on sale all the way through the end of December. This bundle includes five singles each of the Southwest Medley, Homestyle Scramble, Maple Almond Crunch, 
hearty cinnamon oatmeal, vitamin eggs, and the nutrient-rich vitamin coffee that you always hear me talk about. And as you can see here, it also includes this Retro Tin bread box. And the price on this kit, ladies and gentlemen, after you use the AP10 code at checkout, is only about $141. So if you're looking to pick up some singles for yourselves, that way you don't have to open a number 10 can and you can store those for long term, or if you're gonna give some as Christmas gifts, or even as stocking stuffers. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this, in my opinion, is the very best long-term survival food storage there is. There's nothing out there with more nutrients that actually feed your body what it needs. So feed your freedom with Nutrient Survival.